Okay, I have my shirt. I pressed it um, really nice, and then I added my iron-on fusible mesh. I put this on the back of all of my t-shirts. This is this is in the place of um, cutaway stabilizer. I don't use cutaway on my shirts unless I have to, like I'm, if I'm out of stabilizer. Okay, so anyway, I fold my shirt in half. I line up the side seams, shoulder seam, and I iron a crease down the middle. All right, and then I fold it back out. And I just pick up the shirt, the front of the shirt, like this. And I lay it down. If my crease is not good, I'll iron back over it just for just a second. Okay? I lay this to the side. Here's my fast frame. Here's my Femoplast sticky stabilizer. Okay. All right. And I just, I just cut them. I just cut a lot of these and keep them handy. So I can just pull one instead of having to cut each time I need a piece. I put it on the back side. The back side is the side that has the hump on it. All right, and then I just stretch it out like this. Push it down. Turn it to the side and I kind of lift and pull. And then I push it down. I go the other side. I kind of pull and push down, push it over, I go to the top, I do the same thing. All right, and now when I put my shirt on, I always put the bottom of the shirt to the side that hooks to the machine. That's just how I've always learned to do it and that's how I do it. All right, and I just line up my little notches right here and right here with the middle of the shirt. And I press it down, press it down like that, push it out like this. I kind of pull and lay it flat. And then I turn it out like this. Move it down and I put it on my machine, line up my middle, and start stitching.